Moving on now, a 32-year-old man was arrested from West Bengal for murdering a waitress in Mumbai's Dahisar. Now, the victim, Rosina Sheikh, was found dead in her flat on the 29th of December. The accused, Swapan Roydas, who is married with two children, was allegedly having an affair with the victim. Now, Roydas allegedly killed Rosina as she was threatening to disclose their affair uh, to his wife. After strangling Rosina, the accused then ransacked the apartment and left with jewellery, four cell phones and 1.2 lakh rupees in cash. Let's in fact go across to Disha to get uh, more details. Disha, uh, what more details do we have in terms of, you know, what led to this uh, murder uh, at, at this point? Well, uh, that's right, uh, Avni. In fact, uh, we know for the fact that the 33-year-old waitress, uh, she was uh, found dead in her Dahisa rented flat on 29th of December 2019. Uh, and uh, close to a week now, the police did not really get any head away in the case in concern. But what really triggered uh, was the fact of of one uh, green vodka uh, bottle which actually led uh, to the entire case being solved. What we know uh, for the fact that now the accused uh, here in concern has been arrested, 32-year-old accused has been uh, arrested in this uh, matter. Uh, the accused in a statement to the police went on to say uh, that both of them, they were introduced to each other almost three years ago at a bar where uh, the uh, victim uh, used to work. They grew close. In fact, the accused here in concern is already married with a child and a wife and the child. They do not live in Bombay, but they live uh, outside of Bombay. And uh, the accused used to work as a jewellery uh, worker uh, in Dahi, sir. And in the last three years, they were literally having an affair, is what we understand. They both grew close and... Uh, uh, according to him, the victim used to demand a lot of money uh, and uh, as and when the accused used to actually give uh, her the money, uh, she used to treat him well but uh, the day when he stopped giving her the money, that is when the fights began and that is when the argument began and uh, the victim here in concern allegedly started threatening uh, the accused and that is how he actually killed her is what we understand. On 29th of December, he went to her house and he killed her uh, with a pillow uh, uh, and she died due to suffocation. So all of these are the details that the police have shared and the accused has confessed to the crime to the police and he was arrested yesterday by the Dahisar police uh, officials. Right. So Disha, essentially it, it looks like it was a tussle over money at this point but what's also interesting in this case is how the police were able to link Roydas, uh, the accused, to the crime and nab him as the person who actually murdered, uh, uh, murdered Rosina. In fact, CCTV footage from the building showed a man entering late at night, but there was nothing to link him to the death. The police, however, were able to tra trace down the accused after they found a vodka bottle in the victim's apartment. Uh, so, Disha, help us understand how a green apple vodka bottle helped zero in on uh, the accused and nab him. Well, uh, uh, definitely, uh, Avni, when on 29th of December the waitress was murdered, uh, the cops did visit her place a couple of times for clues. They were hunting for clues. Uh, they did not uh, really get any information on, in the autopsy report as well as to what was the cause of the death. So for six days almost the cops were clueless. But what was the headway in the case was the fact when the relatives uh, told the cops that uh, some of the cash is missing and jewellery from her house is also missing. So the cops visited her place again and they actually found a green vodka bottle uh, from her place. Uh, and at that point in time, during the investigation, they had also scanned the CCTV footage of the building. Uh, who was the man that entered? But that point in time, it was nothing that linked to her death in concern. So they did not really have any suspects at that point in time. But with the help of the vodka bottle, they actually took out the batch number. They uh, went through all the wine shops in Daisar to actually see that from which particular shop this vodka bottle was bought. They found out finally through the batch number that this particular vodka bottle was bought from Smitha Wines in Daisar. They went to that shop in concern and they also scanned 
scanned through the CCTV footage, they actually spotted the same man uh, which was seen at the victim's building on that particular night. The same, uh, the same man bought the vodka uh, bottle from that wine shop on 29th of December. So that is how they actually uh, traced uh, uh, him. And through, uh, they uh, also went through the records of the accused in concern. And uh, through that, they were able to nab him from Kolkata. They brought him to Mumbai. And after that, he confessed to this crime. Avni. All right, Disha. Thanks so much for joining us uh, with all of those details.